Phil X. Cinco de Mayo! We're drinking tequila tonight. Lots. In lots of places. And it's gonna be awesome. But right now, I, I can't I can't remember how many requests uh, we got for this guitar, the Billy Bow. And for those of you that don't know what a Billy Bow is, you take Billy Gibbons and you take Bo Diddley and you make a guitar that's kind of like both and you call it a Billy Bow. You could call it a Gibbons Diddley, but that's really hard to say. <laughs> Anyways, this is a 2005 Gretsch Billy Bow Jupiter Thunderbird chambered mahogany body. Weighs six pounds because it's chambered. Aha! And it's got two TV Jones Powertron pickups, which sound really cool. And um, they sound really, really beefy. It's, it's, uh, it's cool. Um, I expected it to kind of feed back a lot, which it's not, even when I kick in an overdrive pedal. But hey, let's start clean, because that's how we roll. Around here. OK. Yeah, I didn't shave today. What? 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 All right. Yeah, I mean, this grew. I did shave this morning. It just grew. I'm Greek. That's what happens. All right. So um, let's play some guitar. Um, well, man, let's do some ZZ Top, because I can't help it. I'll do it in clean. I'm in the middle position. Just so you know how it works, volume from the treble, volume for the, the rhythm pickup, which is the, uh, the neck pickup. This is a master, and this is a master tone. And this is the toggle to get me to where I want to be, which is right now in the middle. So I can do a little. change pedals I mean amps there I use the pedal and people ask what we use lately we've been using the radio twin CD ABY amp switcher bones I find it to be the best it's awesome okay so um that was uh, in the middle switch middle position with both pickups this is the I'm going to put it in the middle position again. Can I even do that? I'm human high. Well, I'm home and high. All the hoo ring. That's fun. That's slow. But that but the ah, crazy drum fill. This is the really cool part. Um, people don't know this, or maybe they do know this, but Van Halen used to love ZZ Top, and they just, because ZZ Top was an amazing boogie band that rocked out and did a lot of blues and stuff like that and got girls to take their shirts off. Um, you drink, take your shirts off. Reminds me of karaoke in Dallas on a Sunday night. That really happened. If you flash, you got free booze. Anyways, I mean the girls. Guys, no, you had to pay double. So, um, listen to Van Halen and they're like just a high octane ZZ Top back in the day, right? Like listen to Bottoms Up on the second record, which is uh... <laughs> Wait a minute, now I'm getting confused. Okay. Oh. I can't get ZZ Top out of my head. Wait. Wait. That's not it either. I've been sitting here about half the day. Okay, yeah, 
that kind of thing. Man, I'm totally, I think I played ZZ Top through the whole song. <laughs> okay, that's what happens when you got so much music in your head, sometimes you can't decipher where it's supposed to go where. <whistles> what did I just say? And why did I say it? All right. Um, yeah, buddy, we're in the uh, Evil Robot C30. And this is the treble pickup. <laughs> Nice rich power chords. And it looks like. Wait, I'm fixing my mic. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. This is what we're doing over here, man. We try to make everything, we try to improve every time we do this, and sometimes it goes great, and sometimes not quite. But we have this wall because we were blurring the amps so loud last time. In the last, if you notice in the last state videos, you didn't really hear me sing loud enough because um, the, the lapel was picking up the amp. So now, um, the, the lapel, the lapel mic, the lavalier was picking up the, uh, the, the, uh, you know, everything, picking up the amp. So then you get little phasing issues and stuff like that. So we couldn't have my voice really loud when I was singing. So, but we're gonna try it with this, this little plexi wall. And here it goes. And guess what I'm gonna do on the Billy Bow? Wait a minute. We don't want any more complaints about clean. So let's do, whoa, master volume. So this is the clean Fox AC30 with the neck pickup. It's actually really cool. Back into the sea, 30. Love that. shaky on there that sounds awesome all right um you know who never used the guitar like this rush <laughs> but i gotta do it because listen to this tone <laughs> Skip to 
something I can sing. That was Bastille Day. I, I don't know any of the words, and I should I should learn it. But it's really high singing. But I can do this. Wait. <laughs> I think there was the last video, by the way, I have to mention this, I never mention other guitars, I don't think in other videos, but that Fender Marauder in that last video sounded awesome, didn't it, didn't it, everybody, yeah it did, yeah, but then I go out of tune, and people are like, wow, epic fail, I'm like, I was thinking an epic fail is like a, an earthquake or something, <laughs> right, not being out of tune, how's that mic doing? What? I'll switch sides next uh, guitar. So, okay. I don't know if I can get a strap though. I want to also show you the beauty of this guitar. The really cool thing about having a master volume on a guitar that has two volumes is that you could take the both volumes, have them max, and then turn it down so you can find a really nice sweet spot like right here. Paul, you would have to adjust both volumes. Or if this master volume wasn't here, you'd have to turn these both down to find that sweet spot. But when you have a master, you don't. You just turn the master down. Yeah, yeah! All right, check it. One more thing in the uh, neck position in the Vox AC30. <laughs> Let's do that same lick in the middle position. And let's do it in the treble position. All right. Um. <laughs> That's all you get, man! Yeah! All right. Phil X signing off.